Anything out there? Sorry? Anything out there? No. You're wanting this flight to be all quiet. Me, someone who's afraid of flights, really wants it to all just turn into a Michael Bay film. So you're afraid of flying? Yes. You think every action movie from the 90s is a, is a great film? And yet, I know nothing about you. Ask away. Oh, you are gonna regret saying that. Is that the missus? That's my sister. Home to see the family. Yeah, ish. Okay. Not really. <laughs> My car's here. If you need a restaurant, recommend it. I don't know. Do you want to? We don't have to. No. Just... Give me your phone. Hey, Dad, what's going to get you? I feel like I should tell you something comforting and profound. I can't think of a single thing to say that doesn't sound like I was just Googling how to console a loved one. Did you? Yes. I stopped the world and melt with you. From here, we go to the hospital to get her things. Then we go to meet the priest. A priest? Yes. A priest priest? Rick's call. My stepdad, right on cue. Father Dan has been a true champion for us, a spiritual hero. I'm so relieved to hear that you knew our mother. He'd never met her. He's more my spiritual hero. Sorry to get family time was a bit much. I don't think I'm doing a good job. I'll never leave you. I don't think you're supposed to be. Funeral guy who's just setting up some caskets. Who is the funeral guy? What is his name? It's Bob. Hi, I'm Bill. And let me show you what we got. You see the difference and it's getting better all the time. So Rick locked us out of the house. He gets to decide what childhood memories we walk away with in a garbage bag. Oh my gosh, the parent in this situation is on board with this plan. Do I wish I didn't wear my loafers to a B&E? Yeah, but most importantly, it's that you two get closure and personal growth. When I think back on it now, it feels like there's two halves of my life. I wouldn't trade my half for the whole. Mrs. Donlin, your family is going to love you in that. It's a forever home. <laughs> Mmm.